Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. Thank you so much for joining in in this video today about using ClassPoint in the Windows slideshow mode of PowerPoint. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe. With ClassPoint's newest update, you can now present your slides in Windows slideshow mode. Windows slideshow mode allows you to present your slides as just one specific window on your desktop instead of a full screen presentation. So this comes in handy if you've ever needed to have access to multiple applications during your presentation. So for example, if you're in a webinar and need to access the interface, or if you're in an online class and wanna have access to both the student chat and your presentation. So there's actually two different ways to present with Windows slideshow mode. Let me open up a blank presentation here. And actually, if you guys ever need suggestions or ideas on using the different class point questions in your classroom, we do have an example file available in our side question panel. So if you just click on that, a deck will open up that's just filled with different ideas and question types for you to implement into your classroom. So now to present in Windows slideshow mode, we can go to the slideshow tab and click on set up slideshow. Now we just click browse by an individual window click OK, and now we can present. And you'll see that it is just a window, so it can be made smaller and be moved around on screen to wherever you need it to go. The downfall with this first option is that it's a file specific feature. So if you're gonna present multiple files, make sure that you set it up in this exact same way if you want to present them all in Windows slideshow mode. Because of this, we do actually recommend way number two. So let me close this presentation here, make this full screen again. And now to present in Windows slideshow mode, a much easier way is to just click on this little book down here for reading view. So reading view is the same thing and you'll see that it looks just the same. So it can be minimized and moved around wherever on screen. So now, for example, I have a Teams meeting up and if we open that up, you can see my students have been chatting. So I can move this window over and so that way I have access to both my student chat and my presentation. So if I were going through and sharing my screen with my students, I'll just share my individual PowerPoint window so that way students are just seeing the PowerPoint but I can see both sides. When presenting in Windows slideshow mode, all of the same features that you use in class point in presentation mode work just the same. So let's open up a browser here to pretend to be a student. So we can join the class here. Once we're all joined in, we can go through quickly some of the features of ClassPoint. So as I'm scrolling through the slides here, my students can see the changes on their side, as well as opening up a question, we can answer it on their side as well, and you can see the live results on the teacher side. So if I close this submission, I can save these questions for later, and maybe you need to do a little bit of annotations on the slide. You'll see that when you click on a pen and begin annotating on the slide, everything appears just as normal. So please notice that students won't see your annotations right away unless you exit out of the presentation and go back in. And that is a wrap on presenting class point with Windows slideshow mode. I know this has been a highly requested feature, so if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Happy presenting.